Board, stand by. What are these concerns? Right Record. in between the cameras. How come I can oh, see that? Shouldn't have. Oh, crap. The sound. Okay. Stand by. Um, where's cut to black? Come on. Welcome. <laughs> Did you ever watch the IT crowd, the dinner party for the IT crowd? Yes. That British and like, she's like, just relax, and they're all like, <laughs> stand by. Okay, really stand by. Okay, we're really standing. Oh, okay, and we're gonna cue you. Go. Are we live? Are we live? Hi, <laughs> okay, right. so everyone. Hey guys. Um, so if you caught our, like, little chaos video a couple minutes ago, um, we were a little behind, but as you can tell, Stephanie and I are in some fancy digs today, I guess. We are. We have, uh, upgraded. Yeah, so no more, like, gothic, um, lighting. Which is a real shame. Which is a real shame, because I liked not being able to see uh, all the... Yeah. yeah. But so, hey guys, um, welcome back to a new semester. Yes, Happy New Year, 2018. Oh my God. Yeah, and uh, if you guys are like us, a little bleary-eyed today from watching the National Championship last week, lie and say you did. Yeah, totally yeah. Okay. good. Yeah, <laughs> all we'll time. We'll time. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, thanks for joining us today. Um, no elements. <laughs> oh my God. Whatever. Um, can you talk a little bit about, <laughs> we're going to shame Stephanie. Um, and then we're going to talk a little bit about liaison librarians, right? Right. Because we've mentioned them a ton in all of our conversations over the past semester, but we never really, like, told you what it means. We always like, say, contact your liaison librarian. Your liaison librarian can help you. Or we make jokes about how, like, mathematically and science inept I am, but we don't really talk about what I'm good at, maybe. Right. <laughs> so and if about... there's something we need to do, it's to talk about what Beth is good at. Yeah. It's all about Beth. So, <laughs> why doesn't that say Mars Library all about that? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I think we can get over the title. <laughs> all right, so where do we want to start? Well, let's just start with what it is. What is a liaison librarian? Okay. Well, so let's start like really basically with the fact that there are some of them. And so um, there's a set of librarians, right? Who's not are... unlike a set of encyclopedias. Yes. <laughs> not all on the shelf, um, but we, our job as part of liaison librarians is to, um, so unlike cataloging librarians, people that kind of work behind the scenes, our job is to work public service, right? right. So we do um, all the like teaching and instruction and things like that. And for, meeting with students and faculty one-on-one -on -one to help them with their research projects. So we're like the forward-facing part of the library, I guess. Um, and we are subdivided into different like specialties. Right, disciplines. Yeah, disciplines, right? And so all the different disciplines have their library. Right. So whatever you're majoring in, whatever you're studying, or whatever department you belong to, you have a librarian assigned to you. Yeah, so your personal librarian. It's like a personal shopper, but for the library. <laughs> right. And so that means that there's going to be someone who is an expert in that field. Yeah. So they're not just randomly assigned. These no. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> God, because yes. I would end up like chemistry. I'd be like, oh, I'm... Physics, like, yeah, I'd be mean, like, wait idea. a minute, there's strengths of metal, like, <laughs> what? Yeah, no, so yeah, and they're assigned based on either um, a lot of us hold advanced degrees in that area, so in addition to library degrees, we have advanced degrees in content areas, or just long periods of time of study or um, extra training in right. some way, right? Um, that prepare us to be that kind of liaison librarian. So, Stephanie, what liaison? What departments do you handle? I'm the social sciences librarian, so that means I am a librarian for anthropology, sociology, social work, political science, criminal justice, psychology, gerontology, <laughs> and military science. Wow, you're really good at that. You rattled that off really well. Yes. I'm going to have to cheat on that. I think that's all of them. I think you got that right. Yeah, you I mean, oh, oh my god, sorry. They're going to be very unhappy. The big people that are like right. into communication. Okay, yeah, we've been. Hey guys, hey. you're actually my favorites. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, anthropology, you're right, too. Oh, right, anthropology, my favorites, too. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, I am the arts and humanities librarian, so I do English, African American studies. I'm going to have to cheat. 
history, gender studies, international studies, foreign language, um, music, philosophy, and religion, theater and dance, and visual arts. So all the good stuff. And <laughs> but in addition to Stephanie and I, there are one, two, three, four other um, liaison librarians. So just briefly, I'll tell you who they are. Um, and we will do what we always do in the show notes. We will show notes. The comments will drop a link to the list of liaisons. Yeah. Yeah. And there's also uh, these bookmarks, which are all over the library, which list. And they're beautiful because Stephanie made them. Thank you. Uh -huh. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to get it. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, I'm, I'm so flattered. I've lost my <laughs> train of thought. Uh, so you can pick this up and find out who your liaison yes. librarian is. And it has all of the contact yes. information. So email, office, phone number, you cannot track them down. Yeah, so briefly, uh, in addition to Stephanie and I, there are, uh, Amia Faker is our business librarian, so if you have anything accounting, management, stuff that I don't do related, go to her. Marketing, yeah. Yeah, um, Angela Doucette Brand is our, uh, oh gosh, so she's our education, le education librarian, which is all y'all out there, because y'all huge, because mm -hmm. <laughs> y'all huge, and she also does HP, I always get them wrong, so you're going to have to help me out, health, kinesiology, and sport, there we'll go with that, and hospitality and tourism, so um, that's her jam. And then lastly, uh, Ellen, she, oh, we actually, we oh, we put Amy too, yeah. okay, we'll come back to her, um, Ellen is our natural sciences, mm -hmm. so geology, geography, meteorology, um, environmental toxicology, and then don't forget about math and stats. Yeah, so she's the mathematics person. Yes. So when you see us struggling with mathematics, she's not, laughing at me. Right, that's right. Don't be, don't be dismayed. <laughs> not all the librarians are as inept. It's math uh, inept. <laughs> um, Ellen is there to help. You. Yeah, Ellen helps me with my stats. And then um, lastly is Amy. So right. Amy is our um, engineering. So STEM, pretty much we would consider her mm -hmm. STEM library. So engineering, uh, computing, and then um, chemistry, biology, electrical engineering, marine science, and uh, physics. All the things of which that is sinful. That's right. Oh, it's which is why we have liaison librarians. Right. So don't ask me to answer a meteorological question. We just try to do one time, and it was hilarious. Like I was like, Ellen's not in. Let me try my best, and I was like, you know what? You're gonna wait for Ellen. Here's a business card. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it was bad. Um, all right, so that's what we are. Right. Um, so what do we do? Do you want us? Do you want to take what we? You know what we do. Yes, I do. <laughs> I do it. You uh, do it every I day. Do it every. Uh, so there are basically three things oh, no. that we do. Is everything all right? I think I lost something. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Keep going. All right. So there are basically three things that we do. We um, do instruction. So the three prongs. <laughs> Tyrannosaurus Rex. Right? That will approach. help you remember this. Three pronged approach. We do instruction. We do outreach and we do collection. Yeah, so instruction. Instruction is uh, mostly teaching, right? So we do instruction sessions for classes. So if there is a class in political science, they need to learn how to use the databases that are specific to political science, not just kind of the general stuff you get in English 102. 102. Yeah. Um, then that professor can schedule a session with me and I'll tailor it to what those students need. And that's really useful because that's the stuff they're going to need to use in all of their courses and if they go into grad school as well. Yeah, and it's stuff that you know very, like, you know all about. So, like, you do a specialized um, one in, I think, one of, we, we've mentioned it before in one of your maybe grad seminars um, for your classes about the literature review, which right. is very unique to social sciences, right? The way that it's conducted yes. specifically social for social sciences. Special way of right. doing lit reviews, so I teach that several times a semester. Which you wouldn't want me teaching that because the lit review Sorry. in the humanities looks very different, right? So that's where that kind of specialized subject knowledge really works to the student's benefit. Right. And yeah. we also, in addition to teaching, we work with students one on one too, especially yeah. with upper level students. We do consultations. So it's a lot of consultations. A lot of consultations. Because you're working on a project and you are struggling to do your research, you're not working on you know, going out. Start, and you can meet with them. Yeah, so, for sure. Um, and then the third, the second thing, comments. outreach, right? Um, we spend a lot of time, um, not necessarily in the library, outside the library, uh, meeting with our faculty, um, attending right. like student uh, presentations, events, mm -hmm. etc. Um, so that's kind of our outreach. Try to, try to figure out what y'all are doing right. so that we can best support it through our teaching and through our collections. The third and final part. Yes. 
So, spending other people's money. That's right. So, when we are talking about collection, we're talking about adding stuff to the library. And that stuff can be books, it could be uh, subscriptions to databases. It can be media. Yeah, you don't have some really interesting things. Yeah, so I, my people are kind of the art people. Um, so, I have a lot of media, so streaming uh, video, and also streaming music, too. So, um, when we all get together as liaison librarians, talk about these kind of collection decisions and we bring all the needs of our different disciplines to the table and we consider them and how best to allocate the limited resources that we have to best facilitate y'all's research and your needs. Right. And all these things work together because yes. if we're teaching the classes, then we are working with students streaming. and we understand your needs, what so they need. Yeah, yeah, we understand what the faculty needs, which well. helps us buy stuff so from the library that actually works. Right, right. right, as opposed to just sort of sitting on the shelf. Uh, like, uh, that's that makes sense. Right? Um, okay, so those are the, that's the three pronged right approach. Three prongs. Uh, we have some notes, so that's why we're looking down. Right? Yeah. We always do. Why do we use it? Because it's the best model. It's a great model. Because it makes sense to have those three things working together. Because in a more an older library, yes. model, those things would be separate. Yes, right? somebody would do all the buying, they would do all the teaching, and you would not. They wouldn't inform each other. No. Right. So you might be getting stuff that students don't need or faculty don't need and the people who are teaching the class might not be aware of what's in the collection yeah so it's important to have those all those things working together yeah it really facilitates um a research focused uh institution and library right, right. which is we we want to build our research uh, level and standing at the institution and so to do that we figured um liaison model is the best way to make that happen so that's really short answer for why this is all all right um we already talked about that a little bit so we already talked about um, how a liaison librarian can help students and faculty. We talked definitely about students. Let's talk a little bit about faculty, oh, right? Yeah, that good. Um, so students, we talked about consultations, things like that. Um, but faculty, make sure you are hanging out with your liaison librarian too, because like I, we talked about a second ago, collection decisions really come through us. So if there's something that you really, really need, make a pitch to your liaison librarian, um, and then we can make a pitch to yeah, we'll we need. that for you. And then also, something that I think more and more faculty are taking advantage of, which is kind of difficult to say, but taking advantage of, using um, their liaison librarian to help design their courses yes. from the beginning, um, like bef like new courses and assignments before they roll them out. Yes, especially if you have a research assignment, intensive, intensive yeah. yeah. And it's great to work with the librarians to make sure we have the resources that you need, that you're using uh, the best kinds of resources available, that you're getting your students to integrate those yeah. resources. And, and then it's a like, uh, scaled research assignment, right, that we're not all throwing it at them at the exact same time, right, right? that we can like kind of work it, like, model it, right. And so we know what's coming. Yeah, 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 and so we also don't get 100 screaming students that are awful 100, but like, enough screaming. It feels like 100. You pretty much had 100 last semester. I think I probably did, but that's just the story of my life, right? <laughs> okay, um, so yeah, so faculty, don't think it's just for students. We work with faculty a lot. All the time, all the time. Yeah. And we actually love working with faculty. Yes. Come. It was just the best project. Yeah. Long time. Um, I don't, okay, so how do they find out who their librarian is? Oh, you can pick up one of these bookmarks. Plug, plug. <laughs> <laughs> but you can we also can find it listed on the uh, Mark's Library's website. And we were going to demonstrate that for you, but I don't think Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll drop it into the comments. It in there, um, but you can find it uh, through, I think it's just two clicks from the front page. Yeah, it's two so, clicks from the front page. It's super simple. Um, and it's, it's broken down by discipline. Yeah, right. so like whatever your major might be, um, that's your liaison on that Yeah. Just a thought, I just thought of this. What would you do if you were like a rando double major? Make friends with both your liaison librarians? I think librarian? so, and it would depend on the project you're working on. Yeah, so that's a good point. So if you don't know, for example, like I'm a biology English major, rando, um, but like you don't know who, what librarian you wanna talk to, uh, just get in touch with one and then tell us what you're working on. And mm -hmm. if that's not our jam, we'll put you in touch with the person you should be talking to. Um, so right, I, and if for some reason you're working on a project that's not in your major area, we can do the same thing. Yeah, we'll put you in touch with the jam. With the person who's going to do that. Yeah. Um, and there are, we didn't mention, there are some other subspecialty libraries that don't technically like make it into the liaison program, like our GovDocs librarians who are amazing. Mm -hmm. They have this entire GovDocs collection. Um, but uh, you may be working on a project that GovDocs would be incredibly useful right. for, right? Um, and you don't know that. We know that. So we'll put you in touch with 
Uh, and we also have a liaison on the program. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, we've liaised all over the place. We've liaised. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, no matter who you are, there's a library Great for you. you. <laughs> All right, so that's lots of ways to get in touch with us. You can also just call the reference desk um, um, at 460-7025. You can call the reference desk, um, and they'll tell you your legal You always deliver that beautifully. Yeah. Thank you. I try. Um, and then, um, oh, this is a really good question, Stephanie. Stephanie is always putting together great notes. <laughs> All right, so what do you do if you look at this and you don't see your major anywhere? It's probably because... Panic. Pan no, no panic. Okay. Don't panic. I know that's the usual. Don't panic. Don't panic. <laughs> okay. That's what she meant to say. Don't panic. It's probably because you're a nursing student or a medical student. So like allied health mm -hmm. or uh, like pre-med. And right. the biomedical library. So you have your own library. library. Yeah. So you have a whole set of people there to help you. Yeah. That are well versed in medicine stuff. Yeah, <laughs> that's being the technical term. <laughs> Which is not us, obviously, right? So, um, but if you do call us or contact us, we'll help. We'll help you figure out because, because just like us, they have a set of librarians and they have sub specialties right. within medicine. So, orthopedics has a librarian. Um, I don't even know uh, allied health. So, right, audiology has a specific librarian, right? So, we'll help you find out who your person is from over there. So, so if you don't see. Um, um, your name on here. Alas, alas don't be sad. sad. You, you still, still have a library. You're still, still it's still just have. sad because it's not me or Stephanie. Or... <laughs> That's it, yeah. 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 Sorry. <laughs> don't be too disappointed if you're not in, you're not one of ours. <laughs> <laughs> can still go on. Okay, so, uh... So do we, we can't actually see. We can't see. actually see if so we, have we have any questions. questions? It's, we're having a it says, flash player yeah, issue. Yeah, so wants flash player. So do we have any questions? We do. Oh, we do. Questions, you say. <laughs> um, okay, so while, there, while we're talking about questions, let's talk about what we always do, uh, ways to get, oh wait, here we go, question. I want to mention the Honors College. Oh, we already did. Yes, we just did. Okay. You have one. That was you have your own liaison. Yes. Well, her name is Kathy Wheeler. <laughs> yes, her name is Kathy Wheeler. Yes. Sorry, I was sorry. We were like, wait, what? Um, yeah. So her contact information is not on the bookmark because right. this is by discipline. These are the discipline liaisons. Yeah. Um, but her contact information is in that list. It is that um, we're going to link we're going to link to. Yeah. to. So um, <laughs> then there, uh, there's also kind of a general population liaison too. Um, Paula Webb. So mm -hmm. if you have like questions about Google Drive or anything like that, she kind of handles that stuff. So uh, if you have questions like that, we'll and she does outreach to the public libraries yes. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Any other questions from our tech, our, our person in the booth? Any questions? <laughs> no. Okay. Awesome, guys. Um, so I think I don't even know how long. We don't even know have a timer. I Wait. think we've been going for about twenty minutes. Perfect. Two minutes. We got two minutes. We got two minutes. Okay, so let's round it out with. Ways to get in touch with us. Oh, you mean social media? Yeah. Stuff. Sorry, I was thinking like my You're like the bookmark yet again, oh, Beth. Hello, Beth. <laughs> okay, so find us on social media. If you haven't liked us on Facebook, uh, do that right now. You're on Facebook. Literally it's like, like right. Um, we're also on Instagram at marks.library and Twitter at um, USA underscore library. I that's don't know. A, that's a holdover before the library had a name. Before <laughs> it's true. When we shall remain <laughs> nameless. So, uh, yeah, Twitter is <laughs> USA underscore library. Um, and we're also on YouTube as uh, Mark's Library Live. Oh, yeah. So go back, man, and watch our old lives. Um, so get caught up. Get caught up. Okay. And so last thing before we leave, that's the way to get in touch with all of our social media coolness. Um, but you do really cool stuff on social media, like post weekly book. Mm -hmm. read. Reading list. Just awesome. So go check it out. Yeah. Um, but for next time, post some ideas you guys want us to talk about. What do you want uh, us to cover? What do you have questions about? Yeah. What kind of library land stuff perplexes you? Um, and we will try to remove the enigma around the perplex perplexed. We should add that to our job description. Remover of enigmas? Yes. Enigma I love remover. it. Yeah. R writer of wrongs, remover of enigmas. <laughs> soother of woes. I love it. <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, thanks for joining us in our new digs. And we may look a little bit different next week. We don't know. This is all kind of like up in the air. It is. It's exciting and, and new and strange. And welcome to 2018.
That's right. Bye, guys. Bye, everyone.